New Japan Cup USA 2020 first round review. Kenta vs. Carl Fredericks. Uh, overall, the review was uh, a little bit underwhelming, but pretty good showing of NJBW USA as a brand. Get to it in a moment. Kenta vs. Carl Fredericks, for example. Not a lot of video packages. Kevin Kelly does the best commentary, but it felt a little bit rushed, even though they don't really. I guess he has to do the Japanese broadcast too and translate them. Kenta comes out wearing a go to sleep shirt, go to sleep club shirt, so he's still part of Bullet Club. Has a Goshu Zaki haircut. Carl Fredericks is no longer a young lion. Does not wear the black speedo, instead goes for some sort of red, ult red and white Ultimate Warrior gear. It's sort of like boxing. I've liked Bullet Club and there was an LA Jojo already, shit, Rick just for noise. I thought like they could have established the Katsuyori Shibata storyline better if it was better established. I would have liked the match a lot better rather than just making a point when you have a match. And I felt like I would have understood the strikes and all that stuff better. Maybe if I rewatch watch it, it will make more sense. But overall, I, you know, there's a lot of stuff that didn't work for me with that. To talk about how Kenta was originally supposed to get the New Japan Cup win. But they just use evil to win, so Bullet Club will get the win. Kenta wins after a PK go to sleep. Sort of a dud match for me, uh, really sloppy. One out of five stars. Take a little versus jo Jeff Cobb. Starts off a lot better. Two guys climbing with each other and test of strength. It's sort of the Carl Fredericks too, but it's sort of a David Flair effect because it's Kenta, you know? Then again, I don't know. I felt like people got the lower character right away. While watching, even I got in. I'm not the biggest little fan. Fredericks did have height over Kenta, which felt hurt Kenta a bit too. Jeff Cobb whoops out on Chop, which I thought was really out of character. Really tough and competitive, though. Three, three quarters out of five star match. It was a phenomenal, really good showing. Dave Finley versus Chase Owens. I'm really surprised Chase lost as his brother's this match since he doesn't get overshadowed by everyone in Bullet Club. It's really fast, and both guys look. We don't really get overlooked normally as a stack cards on their NGB card, GW cards. It's like very good, good use of NGB USA. Tomatong, uh, four out of five stars. Tomatong covers Brody King. It was a mix of Loa with the Owens match. Brody with strength, Tonga with speed. I'm surprised Tonga got the win. As Cody had a good, King had a good showing for a match to, for a guy I normally don't follow in ROH. Uh, but then again, it's owned by NGB Good. Tiger Wounds after the gun stun. Two and a half stars out of five. What are your thoughts? Like and subscribe.